Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking, but I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video, I'm really excited to share with you my cozy cottage country kitchen tour. And yes, I did put that ridiculous name on purpose because it's so fun to say, it's so cozy and that is the vibe I go for. I really do like a cottage country kitchen where everything feels warm, a little bit eclectic and not too modern. So I really hope you do enjoy this tour. I hope it gives you plenty of inspiration for your own kitchen. One thing I will say is I have made done with the kitchen that was here when I moved in. I've not designed my own. I feel like kitchens these days cost so much. So ideally certain things would be different, but I feel like I demonstrate in this video quite easily how you can turn something into the vibe you want without necessarily it needing to be absolutely perfect. So I really hope you do enjoy this video. I hope you get loads of kitchen decor inspiration from it. Please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also liking the video really helps my video get out there so that more people see it. So without talking too much, let's just get straight on in to the cozy country kitchen cottage tour. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to start this tour in the main part of the kitchen. So my kitchen is split into two sections. So we have this section which is sort of a bit larger and then if we go to this side this is when we have our second section. We have our fridge, washing machine, sink, microwave and all of our usable sort of kitchen stuff at this side so I'm gonna take my time and just take you through all of the kitchen please feel free to take any inspiration if you want to from this kitchen it's probably not my ideal kitchen because it's glossy I think if I was designing this kitchen again I would keep the exact same layout but the thing I would do differently is the cupboards are gloss and I would have them more of a matte finish and I would also have a lighter work surface just because in here the one problem is there's not much natural light so we have this one window here but that is it so it can get a little bit dark and I feel like if we had a lighter work top then it would brighten up the room a lot as well. So the flooring in here is sort of like a cottagey stone, which I absolutely love, even though it's a little bit darker than what would be ideal for this room. It's just so up my alley with it being cottagey. So I wouldn't change that, but I would change the work surface if that makes sense. But other than that, I absolutely love the layout. I feel like the people before us have done a brilliant job at maximising the space. So I'm just going to go through it all now so as you walk into our kitchen we have this breakfast bar so we have these two seats which are great I think these were from Dunelm and you can adjust the height and everything so we can eat our dinners here I have to be honest we do most of the time eat in the living room just because it's comfier and we can watch tv but one day we might make a little bit more use of this space the other thing I love about our breakfast bar is we have these little lights that were installed. I feel like they just add like a, such a lovely touch. The person who lived here before us, the husband, was an electrician. So we have loads of little random lights like that that I personally love. Then most of the space on this side is just worktops, but we have these two open cupboards. So we just keep our drinks on one side. We usually do not have so much alcohol in. That's not even all we have. We have another three bottles of Prosecco. But since we have just got married, we got loads gifted. And then we just keep our rest recipe books in there and there we have some champagne glasses and then in that canister I think is Disarano if I remember correctly and then I just have this lovely little heart decoration on the side as well then on the surfaces on this side we have a bread tin and a biscuit tin and then in this corner I just like to keep the toaster and then I use this little butter dish that I found in a charity shop for quite cheap actually next to the toaster and I use the full fat Irish salted butter you seriously 
cannot take any compromises when it comes to butter. I like the full real stuff. <laughs> and then behind that I have a little chopping board and then some fake lavender that I got from HomeSense. And then that is all that is out on my surfaces on this side. I did used to keep a lot more out on the surfaces just because I wanted it to feel a little bit more eclectic and cottagey. But I go through different phases. At the moment I'm in a phase where I just want it to be clearer and I feel like we get the cottagey vibe with the butter dish and the lavender and things like that and then the couple of open books and things. Then coming and scanning across the room we have Murphy's little section. So this is his little bed. I did show this in the home tour. So I didn't want the look of an open crate. First of all I just hate the look of crates in my mind. They're like prisons for dogs <laughs> and I used to be a lot more close-minded to them until I got Murphy and we had a friend who had a dog and had a crate for it and every time we went round there Murphy was obsessed with it and kept going in it so I thought I would try him with one and he absolutely loves it so to make it a little bit more cozy for him first of all I have about as you'll see in there like a million different blankets and beds for him then I have this blanket to put over the top of it since he does like it dark and I chose a light blanket just to make it look a lot brighter and then I ordered this piece of wood. I can't remember what website. I think it was just a website that ordered ready made like wood cut to size and glass. So I just measured the top of the crate and ordered a piece of wood and then painted it cream. And it's great as well because then it doubles up as a work surface as well. So on there, I just keep his tin full of his dog biscuits, a lovely little picture of him in his Christmas jumper. Look at him gorgeous little boy <laughs> and then I've also got this pink frame with some pink roses in and then next to his bed I did used to keep aprons and tea towels in there but I'll show you where I keep my aprons now so now all this is dedicated to Murphy so we have his treats in there we have what do we have in there oh yeah his little first aid box bless him and his shampoo and then in the last box we have what's in there Oh yeah, all his jumpers, um, towels and his leads. So this is a little section dedicated to Murphy and then more Murphy stuff as well. <laughs> Next to the fridge, I just have his little bowls. Then above Murphy's bed, I have these two shelves that I did get from eBay. I will try and find them and link them below. I know I do get a lot of questions about them and I love them because they're really thick and strong like you can see but then they do also have that cottagey vibe but I do think they would work as well if you are a fan of that sort of industrial look as well. I feel like mine look more cottagey just because of the things I keep on it as well. So at the top there but hiding behind that plant pot is a little section where they did have a TV, but I didn't feel like a TV was needed in here because we don't sit and eat our food in here. And also when I cook, I just like to listen to music. So we did put one up when we first moved here, but I much, much prefer these shelves. So I'll just go through what I keep on here. So I have this little lantern. I love that I got from that from Home and Bargains years ago and it's moved with me in every house we've been to. I then have this lovely little plant pot which I got from Home Sense. I then also have this little teapot that I actually think was Home Sense as well in the sale section. And then embarrassingly enough, I also think <laughs> that pink jug is also from Home Sense. So at the top of there, three things are from Home Sense and one is from Home and Bargains. Then moving down to the next section. So I have this tea set with four teacups, a little milk jug, a bowl, and then different size plates. So my friend actually gave me that. She was getting rid of it and knew that I love teapots and things like that. So I was more than happy to take it off her hands. And it is come to the best home ever. I love using it. I use it all the time. I think I do have a couple of vlogs up on my channel of me using it as well. I then have this gorgeous little baker um jug thing i don't think it's for use it's more just for decoration but i just think it's so cute i found that in a charity shop and i couldn't leave it and it's got a pink lid as well 
And then here I just have an Emma Bridgewater set of cookie cutters. I have a couple of plates that come with random tea sets that I found in charity shops. And then I have this little cupcake press, I think it is, in the shape of a teacup. And I feel like that just looks amazing there. And then hung underneath, I just have a couple of hearts and things. I feel like some people are very opinionated about hanging hearts in homes but I love it and I know it's not the coolest and most fashionable thing but it's so up my street and then obviously I just have this little sign all you need is love and cake which could not be more true but could I add to that as well all you need is love and cake and a dog and a family <laughs> and a nice home okay probably need more than cake so that is this section of the kitchen sort of shown if you want to see the organization of the cupboards i have recently uploaded a kitchen clean and organized with me which you can see what's in each cupboard and how i organize it if you are interested in things like that but i'm just gonna point out as well since my home tour we've got new doors so i've got these amazing i think they're cottagey anyway these doors i've wanted them for so long with the lines going down them and i just love them so much <laughs> and then come into this little corner so through there is my bathroom but i just wanted to quickly show you so because we're in a small home i wanted to set up a little like cleaning wall so on here i keep my hoover we have hoover attachments on there i've hung up my ironing board and then we also have some pegs as well so it's just a much better way of getting things out of the way beforehand that wall was not used at all and we just kept that door open but it's just an amazing way to save a little bit of room on storage and then coming to the side of the fridge i might as well show you some of our fridge magnets of some of the places we've been so budapest we've actually not been it's one of the ones on here we've not been but paul's parents have and they brought that back for us we've obviously been to london lanzarote the lake district paul actually went to geneva i didn't go there we've been to amsterdam uh, we've been to Gran Canaria, just loads of different places. We went to India as well, which was amazing. So we like to get a fridge magnet for almost every holiday we went on. Unfortunately, we didn't get one from our honeymoon in Cornwall. So that is one great big missing fridge magnet, which I feel like ruins the tradition of collecting them a little bit. So now I'm going to come around to this side of the kitchen and give you a tour around here. So this is our fridge. I'm not going to open it today just because it's not the cleanest and tidiest and I'm sure you don't want to see that. <laughs> then we have our washing machine in here. We just have a hot point one and we've had this for years. Touch water so far we haven't had any issues with it. And then above here we have our tea making station. Please excuse a couple of dishes in the sink and then also I do like to keep a little bowl out next to my kettle to collect my tea bags throughout the day. Some people might think that's gross and want it to go straight in the bin. I personally like to collect them just because sometimes it's good to sprinkle them on your soil. Apparently it adds nutrients to it. I can't say I do that every day. <laughs> I can't even say I do that every month, but I use that as my excuse. And then at the end of the day, I just put them all in the bin. And then I just thought I'd show you my kettle a little bit closer up as well. I'll just move those tea bags because it's a bit gross. <laughs> But I got these from Breville, I think that's how you say it, and it's got the gold handles and it's the same as my toaster, if I just show you quickly. <laughs> it's got the same sort of gold detailing in, so I love that so much. And then I also just keep a little tin of my tea bags. And then while we're here, I'll just quickly show you, I have a great selection of mugs <laughs> that I like, like to keep in there. So in this section is one giant tea making section then above my sink i have this little fake flower pot which was i think from b m and then i have this wash up dish which i got from etsy i then have this little mug which says wife on it since we recently got married and i found that in a charity shop and then a little bit more fake lavender as well and then one thing as well i wanted to show you is i ordered this sink attachment from please excuse my nails as well they're really bad at the moment <laughs> but i ordered this attachment from amazon and essentially it makes the water like you can direct it <laughs> 
this honestly shows how much older I'm getting in life because this just pleases me so much and then you can twist it and it comes out as a shower as well let me just show you quickly let me demonstrate my sink there we go and then you can twist and it comes out like that how amazing okay there's that little section that no one asked for finished and then moving on here I just keep my dish um what's it called this dish dryer <laughs> someone did ask me a question about this and I just found it hilarious apparently their mum is really interested in this dish dryer and just loves it which I just find so funny <laughs> first of all I love it when any of you say that you watch with family members that just fills me with happiness and like cozy feelings but second of all I have no idea where I got this from so I'm really sorry about that and then moving on, I actually keep my bins in here, so I'm not going to open that. But this um, unit cabinet, <laughs> what am I saying? This cabinet door actually fell off and we couldn't fit it because at the side here, as you can see, there's just loads of holes and it's just an absolute mess. So I put up this curtain, which it's not ideal and it probably doesn't look the best, but I'm telling myself that it's just old fashioned cottage vibes. <laughs> when in doubt, just call it cottagey and I'll be happy. And then I just keep all of my, I'll show you cleaning products under there as well. And then next to the sink as well, I just found this little mat from Amazon. The reason I got this is because we're actually missing a tile as you'll see from that corner there so i just got that just to cover up that little tile so as you can see my kitchen is not perfect with a missing tile and a missing cabinet door but i think i like in life is making do and not feeling entitled to everything being brand new and perfect sometimes life is what you make it and i love my kitchen even though it's not perfect now moving on to this corner, I have this gorgeous wax melt burner that was definitely from Home Bargains because I do get all of my wax burners from Home Bargains and it's got a lovely pearlescent finish. I then have this egg basket, which I love. I'm just going to show you one cupboard as well. So this is my baking cupboard and I just feel like that's so cosy, isn't it? <laughs> So I just had to show you that. Then moving on, I have a load of pasta shapes in this, which I like to fill up regularly. And then I just keep all my wooden utensils here. Then anything that is not wooden, I like to hang up above the stove here. I think I got this, it was like a stick on hook thing that I bought from Amazon. So I feel like a lot of things in my kitchen I'm realizing now are even home sense, home bargains or Amazon. And then above there, I just have this heart and then a sign that says home which the previous owners actually put up along with that fake what is it fake plants i'm actually not sure which one it's not ivy i don't know if you know what fake plant that's supposed to be then let me know <laughs> and then scanning down i just have my hob and my oven my oven needs a clean look at that that's terrible <laughs> So I just have my hob and my oven and then I just have my microwave and I keep my trays. I'll just quickly show you as well my spice cupboard just because look how beautiful it looks. If you've not already watched my kitchen organisation video and you enjoy this particular scene then you may enjoy that video so I will link it below. So that is the overview of the general kitchen. I just want to show you as well because I did say I was going to where I keep my aprons now. So my kitchen or my bungalow is split level so we have these stairs leading up to the kitchen and then on this wall I have just hung up all of my aprons which I love I'm just going to quickly show you my aprons as well I know you might not be too interested but I just want to show you quickly so I have this one which actually is upside down because the idea is you wear it and then lift it up and it gives you measurements and things so I just have that one I have this lovely purple sort of retro design i have this one which is probably my favorite hattie the baking queen which my friends got me i have this half apron skirt which i love that how vintagey is that so cute and then this one which paul's friends got us which are mr and mrs aprons and then just quickly as well because my welsh dresser i feel like is an extension of my kitchen so i'm just going to come down the stairs and then on my welsh dresser i just keep loads of bits and bobs so any spare teapots and mugs and things like that we have an old biscuit tin up there i love that i feel like that's really retro as well <gasps> oh my word that's a huge spider 
<gasps> okay, I need to end this video right now and deal with that. Oh my God, that's so scary. I seen it through the viewfinder first. <gasps> Okay, we're back. I just had a little meltdown over that spider because that was absolutely huge. I feel like my house very rarely gets spiders and wouldn't I just capture it in the middle of a video? <laughs> so as I was saying on my Welsh dresser, I just keep a few bits and bobs which are an extension of my kitchen. So that is the end of my country cottage kitchen tour. That is so fun to say. I'm really happy about that title. <laughs> I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've got loads of inspiration. If you are the same similar style to me and you like cosy, cottagey, country, sort of farmhousey style, then hopefully this has given you loads of inspiration. Like I said in my first ever home tour, my style is not expensive. A lot of it is from charity shops because it's a bit vintagey, old fashioned and not super up to date and modern you will find a lot of my style in charity shops which means you don't have to buy it brand new which means number one it's cheaper and number two you're giving back as well so you can happily keep buying things for your kitchen and keep adding to it and not feel too guilty about buying too many things so I really hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps my channel get out there so that more people can see it and I will see you in my next video.